in this video um, we're gonna see how we can change this uh, cube into a transparent object so right now I'm gonna show how it looks uh, right now it's a box kind of cube and inside it we have this little small things you know they are colorful things but since this cube is not transparent we cannot see those things so I'm gonna change this into a transparent object so that we can see these things without hiding the cube so first of all we're gonna select the cube and uh, by the way I'm on uh, material preview mode if you are on solid mode you're not gonna see the transparency so change this to material preview mode okay and um, first of all click on this cube and go to this material properties and click on new and uh, as we can see we have base color white uh, for now I'm gonna keep it like that uh, what I'm gonna change is uh, the roughness first okay I'm gonna change the roughness to zero okay so it gives the kind of shiny look okay this is important for uh, us to make uh, it transparent so scroll down and here here we can see transmission not the bottom one but the upper one transmission so right now it's zero so click and drag this towards right and make it one now this is a transparent object although it's a transparent object it's not uh, showing uh, the objects inside so the thing is we are on EV by default if you go to render properties we are on EV so in, on EV we have to make some adjustments okay to do that first of all we're gonna click on this screen space reflections click here and then open that option Okay, and then we're gonna click on refraction okay and another thing we need to do is to go to material properties again all the way down and you see this uh, where am I yeah this is screen space refraction click here now you see that this is a transparent object it's that simple so as you remember I just changed the roughness before if you check this out if you increase the roughness it decreases the transparency it just makes it a uh, kind of foggy you know it turns the glass into foggy glass so if you need that kind of effect then you can keep that you can increase oh, sorry you can increase the roughness and that gives you that uh, effect otherwise you can decrease the roughness all the way to zero or not too much so not exactly zero but a little bit 0 0.1 or something like that that would be better and uh, another thing here is so this is the uh, what we call it uh, material preview mode but the exact result should be on render preview mode if you go to render preview this looks like this okay so this is how it looks and so what you need to do is you just need to adjust the lightings and all that so that you get a better result 
so you can click on this light and go here if you change this power to like 4000 it's gonna give you a brighter result so this is how we make something transparent in blender when we are on ev okay um, all the procedures are same except that if you go to this render engine and if you choose uh, like cycles you don't need to do this uh, screen space reflect reflections and all that Autom it automatically automatically turns this into um, transparent object once you reduce the roughness and increase the transmission but if you are an EV, you have to do this screen space reflections and refraction and all that. So the thing is, if you're on cycles, it's going to take more time to render, but it will give you a better result. So yeah, this is how we make a cube transparent or whatever object it is. We make it transparent in blender so i hope you like the video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to this channel